Hi, and welcome to Craft for Business. In the rest of the series, we've covered how to collaborate in and across teams on the same document, how to run meetings from a daily note, and how to use Craft to build stunning and helpful documents. Today, we're going to finish off with a definitive guide on how to share all of that work. If you've watched our previous Craft for Business videos, you'll no doubt be familiar with the share panel by now. But I'm going to go a little deeper and look at how to get the most out of this tool. We're going to step back from company.do for now and look at a creative agency that works with them called Cube Digital and a proposal for work that they're going to send over to company.do for their new media strategy. It's quite a deep document with plenty of cards leading to further content and a terms of service at the bottom. The best way to share this is with a web link. To create one of these, I'll go up to the share panel here and tap create. That link is immediately copied to my keyboard and I can paste it anywhere from another document in Craft to a message in Slack or drop it into an email. The great thing about shared links in Craft is that they update in real time, so any changes you make will be visible as soon as the viewer refreshes their page. Before doing that, however, we'll want to go through some settings to give us a little control over how people view our work. Back in the share panel, underneath the link are some options. You can add a password, which will do seeing as this proposal contains some internal information about company.do. Now when someone tries to access the document on web, they'll be met with this panel. Next, you can add an expiration date. This is particularly useful if you're offering discounts for a certain amount of time, or if you just want to make sure your work isn't freely available indefinitely. By default, this is set to never expire. The comment section will grant visitors commenting permissions. You can make it so visitors can't add or view any comments, which is handy if it's a public document like an event poster. In the advanced options, you can allow visitors to bring your craft designs into their own workspaces. You can show or hide the title, author and crafts branding. Allowing block links can be important if any part of your document is linked to another document in your workspace. The search engine indexing is incredibly useful if you're writing for a blog, website or article. It allows search engines like Google to rank your link exactly like it would with a website. At the bottom of the share panel is the option to remove the link if you want. This can be particularly useful if you only want the information to be available for a short period of time, as when you remove the link or the link expires, anywhere you shared that link will no longer have a page connected. Beneath this are share analytics. For Cube Digital Agency, share analytics can be really useful because while they don't show who has opened the proposal, they can see that it has been opened and how many times. This gives us some indication that company.do have received their proposal and are discussing it. We believe that craft sharing features allow users to take their documents to the next level by sharing them with anyone, from their co-workers to potential clients or even friends and family. Feel free to check out the rest of our Craft for Business series if you haven't already, where we cover everything from setting up your workspace to working collaboratively on projects. Thanks for watching.